automating in Ableton. If we want to automate any parameter, I have an EQ right here, right click, show automation, and the automation comes up and we can do stuff with it. If you don't see this view, if the automation lines don't come up, just hotkey A. Pressing A only, just the A key, will turn on automation views and not. Notice that I'm pressing A and nothing is happening. That's because if you don't have that, go up to this little piano yellow knob up at the top. If it's yellow, it's a MIDI note. And if it's not yellow, then it toggles the hotkey. You see how it's curving right there? How am I doing that? Hold down Option on a Mac, Alt on a PC, and then you'll have this little thing come up next to your cursor once you highlight the line. Now that's the curve line. If I wanted this node to not be at 10 hertz, but exactly 120 hertz, I could try to put it at that 120, but then I'd have to find it. I could actually just right click on this dot right here, edit value, and then type in the exact value that I want. That's very useful when you want to go to like an exact zero or something and can't find it. If I did want to search around really quick, another very, very useful tip. If I hold down shift, my cursor is going very slowly. This is as hard as I could go on my trackpad right now. This is as far as I can go. Whereas like this is before, hold down shift and it moves a lot slower to get more fine. You'll notice that if you highlight tracks in this view, copy and paste things, that it's only going to copy and paste the automations. However, if you don't want that and you want to go back into actually duplicating the like real audio clips, highlight the whole thing and then go to this top bar up here. You'll notice that it kind of grays out and acts differently. This top bar also highlights when you do that. And now when you highlight that top bar, you can duplicate it as if it's the original clip in the other view. If you highlight that bar, it does everything that that original clip does. But if you have that view open, you need to drag it to this top part instead of just the automation. Coolest thing about automation for me, two seconds, I did this. How did I do that? This little up and down, very smooth curve. Highlight the entire section you want the curve to begin and end in. Just right click anywhere within that selection. And then there's these shapes down here with Ableton 10 or later. And then you can customize to that shape. If I really wanted every single bar to be doing this, I could just copy and paste this shape many times and it work out like that. Or if I wanted bigger sections to loop, I could do it with any section that I have. One more quick tip in two seconds, watch this. Bam, there's a whole section that I cut out. How'd I do that? Highlight any section that you want of the automation. Then as you see, there'll be this little blue line that comes up when you're right below it and just yank that down wherever you want. Wherever the selection is, right there, yank it up if I want to. Very quick for removing breaths and vocals. I love Ableton's automation so much. This is it's so fast. Speaking of speed, you could also just double click anywhere and a new automation comes up when you're in this view double click double click double click double click double click double click and lastly say that oh i didn't want all of this automation here i wanted it over here i didn't have to copy and paste it and move it i could just highlight everything again then wait for all of it to turn blue like this and drag it over to wherever i want it i could also put it up and down i can move it all over the place automation goes wherever you want it to go i lied to you one last thing say we have a shape like this but i don't want the shape to go all the way up and then all the way down you can customize this shape by going over when you're highlighted in the section that the shape is in holding this little arrow kind of button very light in the middle you can also do to the top right up here to the left these little arrows come up and you can shrink this area depending on where you want it so like maybe i only want that to loop if i wanted this filter maybe to act really wild within these certain notes i can go over here very very lighten and short this filter thing up and then duplicate that a bunch that might be pretty useful for this sound i'm not sure gotta get the highlight exactly right and then very fast a couple more things i forgot to record go in the timestamps down below by the way to check all of the description tips that you want tempo automation by going to this the bpm button at the top left of ableton clicking show automation as normal and it shows up in the master track down here we can automate like that so then the tempo slows down like that this is also where that edit value comes very in handy you can go to the exact 
type of tempo that you want in this automation. If you have a VST AU third party plugin, you can go and automate these, but it is a slightly different process. We can jiggle any knobs that we have here and they will come up, but press this little arrow to the left of the name, which brings up basically the Ableton automation folder. If we have a knob, we can jiggle that to see which of the automations the thing in our VST wants to control. I'm controlling this low gain right here, and low gain is changing in the automation line. Click on the Ableton automation line just as normal, and we can automate it like anything else. And lastly, clip automation is a thing. They have lessened it in Ableton 10 and later, but it is still there. Go into any audio or MIDI clip right here. Down here, there's a little envelopes button, which is basically clip automation. We could do things here like pitch bend if we change the transposition in the clip knob to something else that we want. Click little lines like this, just as we've seen before, and automate it like you do in the normal line. And volume the same way within a clip. We can control each of the third party parameters in the clip automation envelope as well too. We just gotta know the name of them from this drop down menu. If you like this video, like it down below, please. So hopefully that was helpful and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.